How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Battle. Today we're in a battle versus Simon in the underused tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the teams you see on screen right now and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's jump into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Simon. So they're going to lead off with low kicks, which is what I expected as I lead off with what seems to be a Weezing, but is actually a Zoroark in disguise. So we're Hisuian Zoroark with a Focus Sash. I know I can take a hit from this thing, no problem. I'm going to go for that Hyper Voice because they more than likely go for a U-turn here. And that's going to be a good way to scope to see what kind of set they are because they don't know what about, we, we could be Weezing for all they know. So they withdraw because they don't want to risk it being Zoroark, which makes a lot of sense. And um, what's their switch in though? I'd say yeah, Iron Thorns is a decent one. De decent one to say the least. We go for that Hyper Voice. Does a nice bit of chip damage, which is always nice. There we go. Bit of chip damage. Can't go wrong. So now we switch out. Um, I'm leaning towards the Excadrill. Excadrill could be a really good one. Um, I think I will go Excadrill, to be honest with you. So let's go for it. Um, because if they Dragon Dance, then we can at least be immune to the Earthquake. So they have to go for Rock Blast first, then we can just EQ them. So we're going to Rallon the Excadrill, like so. Break that mold. Not that it matters. And they go... Uh, what are they going to go for? Dragon Dance. So they are a Dragon Dance set. So... The problem we've got is that they're going to Rock Blast or Stone Edge. They can't EQ. So what do we do here? I I'm leaning towards seeing whether they're Terra Flying or not. I think, I think personally they're going to Terra. Because they don't want to get Earthquaked. So I'm going to go for an Iron Head here. Because I really think they're Terra Flying. So they go for an Ice Fang which is going to do a bit of damage to us. Air Balloon's going to pop. And we may flinch. We don't flinch. We go for an Iron Head. I should have gone for an Earthquake, but I really didn't think they would stay in. You know? I really didn't think they would stay in there. Um, so now they probably go for an EQ, which is going to be very painful. But And we may lose our uh, X control here, but um, they might also go for another Ice Fang. So I'm going to go for that EQ just in case the Ice Fang again. Looks like they don't have EQ. Now Ice Fang gets a crit, and we still don't flinch, which is great. So even after a crit we live in, we take out the Iron Forms of an EQ. So they must not have had a good Terra for that situation, which is absolutely fine. It happens. It happens. Now they can bring in anything pretty much to revenge kill my Excadrill. In comes Cloyster. <laughs> Cloyster. This thing's an interesting specimen. So I want to go for a Stealth Rocks just before I go down. Um, but I've got Weezing in the back, which can burn it. And I've also got the uh, Blastoise, which can take a hit from it as well. So I think I will go for a Stealth Rocks here. They go for an Ice Shard, which will take us out. That's great. I'd rather them go for an Ice Shard than a Shell Smash there. Shell Smash Cloyster is terrifying. So there we go. They go for an Ice Shard, take us out. That's fine. Um, I'm leaning towards the Gardevoir. But I'm also leaning towards the Zoroark again. Zoroark could be really good, especially now that they've lost their Iron Fawns. So I think I will go Zoroark, disguised as Greta the Weezing. Um, so there we go. Weezing comes in. Now, we just go straight for a Hyper Voice here, I believe. Yeah, Hyper Voice is the best thing to go for, so that's what I'm going to go for. So we go for a Hyper Voice to stay in. We nearly take them out, which is great. They go for that Shell Smash. Ah, oh, great. Great, just great. This is not what we needed. <laughs> this is not what we needed, a Shell Smash Cloister on the field. So we are in a bit of a pickle right now, as you can see. Now, I'm hoping they raise a Shell here and don't Icicle Spear. If they raise a Shell instead of Icicle Spearing... Then we can live with our Focus Sash. If not, we'll have to just let this go down. So I'm going to go for another Hyper Voice here. They do go for the Icicle Spear, which is going to two-shot us probably. Um, revealing we are the Zoroark. I'm sure they already realized. And uh, there's the second Icicle Spear, which should... No, actually, no. It's three shot because that first one was a crit. Okay, so there we go. So they take us out regardless. They take us out regardless. They've got that skill link. They don't need no load of dice. Um, as the uh, Zoroark does go down. So what do we do here? I'm, I'm leaning towards Blastoise. Because we've seen Ice Shard and Icicle Spear. They probably raise the shell. I think Blastoise is the way to go. So I'm going to go into Shell Shocker real quick. Like so. We should be able to take any hit from this thing. And we just go for an EQ. And EQ should take out the Cloyster. Should. They go for a Liquidation. Which is going to sting a little bit. But not too much. As we go for an EQ, which should take out the Cloyster from there. How did it live that? I know Blastoise isn't the most physically offensive Pokemon, but Icicle Spear is definitely going to take us out, right? 
It might do if you get a crit, especially. Please, no crit. Please, no crit. No crit. No crit. Right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We are good. We take this thing out with an earthquake, like so. Down goes the cloister. So there we go. That's, that's great. So now... They can bring in pretty much anything they want to revenge kill us. And I'm thinking they probably bring low kicks in. Low kick seems like a good option. Araquanid comes in, which is an interesting one. So with the Araquanid in, I say we assume they're going to go for a Sticky Webs here. But Sticky Webs doesn't really help them against our team. We've got Salamance who's off the ground. Gardevoir who's not really fast anyway. Um, I think my best bet is to go straight for a Wave Crash just to get damage off. So I'm going to go for it. And Wave Crash comes through. Just get the damage off on the recoil and all that. We get a nice clean nearly 50% damage off with, war, with Wave Crash as well, which is great. As down goes the Blastoise. So that's that's unfortunate. Let's see what they go for. Rain Dance. So we could have actually Shell Smashed there. And potentially taken this thing out after the rain. So that's, that's pretty interesting. So um, now that this thing's got the Rain Dance up though, I think we go Salamence. And I'm looking at their team and I'm thinking, you know what? Salamence is really well against their entire team. Like, if we Terra Steel, we get the Sylveon. So I think I'll dual Wing Beat here. I don't think they Terra here with the Araquanid. They definitely don't Terra. So we dual Wing Beat and we miss, which is really unfortunate. Could matter. They go for a Liquidation, boosted by Water Bubble and Rain. It does over half, which is crazy good damage. Lowers our defense as well, which is really unfortunate. So I'm going to go for that dual Wing Beat once again. Hopefully we hit this time. Dual Wing Beat finally connects. And it cleanly takes out the Araquanid with one hit. With a critical hit, but the crit didn't matter because we were going to hit twice anyway. So the Araquanid does go down, which is fantastic. We're going to get a Moxie boost, which means we're now a threat. They have to bring Low Kicks in or Sylveon, right? Low Kicks comes in. So what can we do against this Low Kicks? I think we're better off switching out into the Weezing. I think Weezing's definitely a good shout. So I'm going to go Weezing. Weezing's definitely a good shout. We can burn this thing. And they probably go for a U-turn, which is fine. Let's just see what they do first. So they're going to Terrastalize. Are they going to go pure bug for that nice and powerful U-turn stab? Maybe. Maybe. Pure bug. I was right. So pure bug low kicks, which is fine. We can burn this thing. If they go for a first impression, we can burn this thing. But they go for a first impression. It's, it's going to do a lot of damage. We are physically defensive, but it's still going to sting. 50%. Wow. That is some damage right there. That is some serious damage. So with Weezing severely damaged, we should go for a Pain Split here because they're going to go for a U-turn, right? So let's go for a Pain Split. They withdraw. Are they going to go Slacking or the Sylveon? Slacking has a lot of HP. So we should get a lot back from this Pain Split, which would be great. Brings us back up to full pretty much and lowers them down to about a third, which is great. Or lowers them by a third, should I say. I'm going to go for a Will-O-Wisp. They actually go for a Giga Impact, which is definitely going to do a lot of damage. Um, but we can burn this thing, no problem. They are Life Orb. And we go for a Will-O-Wisp. So now that the Will-O-Wisp has come through and burned the Slacking, we've got a couple of options. They can't switch out this next turn. They can't switch out. So we can freely switch something in if we want to and start setting up. That's always an option. Um, I'm leaning towards the Gardevoir. I feel like that hits everything on their team really hard. I'm also leaning towards the Salamence for the uh, Outrage. But at the same time, I'm also leaning towards just going for a Sludge Bomb. I think Weezing can handle this. So I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb. They almost recharge. That's great. We go for that Sludge Bomb. Nice bit of chip damage on them, which is always nice. Um, I would have gone for a Pain Split, but it wouldn't have recovered on health much at all. Definitely not to the point where we could take another Giga Impact from this thing. So with the slacking basically down, we go for a sludge bomb. I could have Terra Steeled there, but I didn't want to waste my Terra with a Weezing. We actually live the Giga Impact the second time. And they're going to lose some HP, which is going to make it so this sludge bomb takes them out. So slacking failed to KO the Weezing with a Giga Impact, which is crazy. So down it goes the slacking, which is fair enough. Weezing putting in the work right now. Sylveon comes in. Sylveon is a good one. If we can outspeed here, which I don't think we do, we can go for a pain split. I don't think we outspeed unless they're really defensive. They are defensive, which means we're going to get a lot of HP back and do a lot of damage to them. And then they go for a Shadow Ball, which is going to sting quite a bit. Might not take us out, though. 
doesn't take us out, which is fantastic. Absolutely great. Absolutely great. So let's go for a sludge bomb real quick. Um, and do some damage to this Sylveon. There we go. Weezing putting in the work. Putting in the absolute work right now. As we get the poison on the Sylveon as well, which is really unfortunate for my opponents. As uh, they go for a Shadow Ball, this is actually going to be able to KO us. No? Yes. KOs us. So Weezing goes down. But we did get that big poison on there, which is definitely going to whittle the Sylveon down greatly. So that's, that's brilliant right there. So now... I think the best thing for us to do is to go Salamence. I think Salamence is the best way to go about this. So I'm going to go into it. Boomander comes in. Because I want the Salamence to go down to the low kicks. First impression. And then Gardevoir can come in and finish up. Sweet, uh, finish up. So I'm going to go for an Iron Head right now. There's no real reason not to. They go for a Pixelate Quick Attack, which nearly takes us out as we go for an Iron Head. So I wasn't expecting the Pixelate Quick Attack. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So let's see how this plays out. So Low Kicks is the last remaining Mon. We've got no, no health left, pretty much. Let's see how this plays out. So in comes Low Kicks, which is great. Nice and terrestrialized. We just hit Iron Head because they're going to take us out of a first impression anyway. Sucker Punch, even better. So with the Sucker Punch, I'm guessing they're banded and they're locked into that. I'm guessing they're banded and locked into that. So it comes down to this. Can can Gardevoir, can Gardevoir take a Sucker Punch from this thing? So we're going to trace their Tinted Lens. It is Tinted Lens to confirm. Now, we go for a Terra Fire Mystical Fire, just in case they decide to go for a U-turn. Try and get a bit more damage, because they do outspeed us. So, let's Terra Fire. Really wish I was Terra Fairy or something, so we could resist that Sucker Punch, but we're not on this particular Guard of War. We're Terra Fire, we're Mystical Fire. And uh, they go for a Sucker Punch. It is nearly going to KO us, as we go for that Mystical Fire. And I'm so glad I terra here, because I feel like Mystical Fire doesn't KO without Terra. As it does KO now. And that's going to be the end. That was a GG. That was a really good one, Simon. GG. Very well. Very, very good. Very good. <laughs> very good. But anyway, GG. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.